Lego Star Wars, the Bad Batch Shuttle, major news that is terrible, as well as a leak for a exclusive Tatooine Homestead promo, and we even get some insight on more Lego Star Wars related stuff coming later on in 2021. This is the Republic Stud Show. What is up, Stud Squad? It is I, Logan, and welcome back to the Republic Stud Show. Now, as a part of this new customary thing, you can send in pictures of your merch and you will be featured. And this week, we have featured Classical Stud. He says, hi, and thanks for the best content of LEGO Star Wars. He is wearing his awesome Republic Stud shirt. That is a, a nice shirt, man. You are rocking that Ahsoka clone helmet. It looks fantastic. That is a beautiful picture. Now it is time to get into the big boy news. First up, I know you are all here for the Bad Batch Shuttle stuff, and we will get right on into it. So there are about 13 different notes from this guy, STU something. It's something on Instagram, so credit to the uh, person who said it. Uh, but first off, it is supposed to come with a lime green speeder. And uh, based on the trailers, like there was one that uh, I think Crosshair, not Crosshair, the uh, one with the black hair was driving, uh, Hunter. And it's going to be very similar to the Star Wars Rebels one. I just have a feeling. It's gonna, it, like, like this speeder, it's gonna probably, like, be around that size. It's going to be similar to the one that Kanan Jarrus actually drives. I believe that was a 2015, 16 set. Somewhere around that time frame. Uh, I'll show a picture of it up there or something. Uh, but it is very cool. Obviously, I think that's going to be the build we get, which should be really neat, but it also concerns me, uh, which we'll get into later. And two is that they're actually going to have helmets. The Bad Batch is going to have helmets. And the only one with a new mold is going to be Tech. That's point three. Um, which is kind of disappointing. I don't know how they're going to use the old clone helmets to make to make characters such as Wrecker. Like, Wrecker would have been perfect if they used a Mandalorian helmet. I like what the knockoff company did with that. I hate to say it, but I like it. Uh, like, the way they did that was good. Um, and I think Lego should have done the same. And this also means to another thing, which I'll bring up later on, uh, but no Crosshair, instead the Squad Leader. So Crosshair is not coming in the set, but the Squad Leader is. Who is the Squad Leader? Okay, as of editing, uh, by the way, uh, apparently the helmet for Wrecker is going to be an Iron Man helmet, which is really interesting. Just wanted to tell you guys that. And this actually brings up a theory people have been having, that that Shadow Clone we see in the Bad Batch trailer is actually Crosshair. So they, this may even further affirm that Crosshair ends up staying bad or whatever. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And you know, the Squad Leader could be something else, we'll see. We better get a Crosshair normal in some other episode. Now, two of the guys have hair, if I had to guess, well Wrecker is obviously bald. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd assume probably uh, Hunter obviously would make sense to have hair. A uh, crosshair would also make sense. I think Tech, you know, he, he his helmet is kind of like, you know, a main fixture, but he might too. Um, it's supposed to have a gonk droid. Now, when I saw read this, I was like, yo, I called that like a year ago. I made a year ago probably, like back in May, a 2021 set ideas predictions video. And in that, I had a Bad Batch shuttle because, you know, it just showed up in the Clone Wars. And in that, I was like, you know, maybe Wrecker could have a gonk droid to lift up. Because they did that, and they're actually going to do it, which, that, that, that's, that's pretty sick. That's awesome. I, I, I love the gong, so I am biased. But, but that, that works, because remember, he, lifted, he, he did lift gong, uh, which is funny. So, supposedly the shuttle is sand blue with red stickers. Why? This shuttle is black. You see it in the trailer, it's black. So that means, basically, it is going to look pretty much like this. Like, th with red stickers, like... Are they copying Emperor Palpatine shuttle? This is what it's going to look like, probably. Apparently, it's supposed to also have spring-loaded missiles, as well as red studs, spare red studs, which I guess this guy, like, just got a brief look at a photo, and, you know, he's going off of what he saw. And one of the hair pieces looks like Kylo hair, and the other one looks like the modern Doc Ock. I need to look up what Doc Ock is. What kind of Bad Batch character has hair like that? That looks stupid. But yeah, and the other one's supposed to have one like Kylo Ren, so I guess that's probably going to end up being Crosshair, which stinks because he does have the headband, so, you know, they're probably going to do it the way... I, I don't even know. It's going to look interesting. Um, next up, the win, the fins and plate are plate built, and the fid, fins won't be as good, apparently, because they will have anti-studs and studs. So it's basically going to be exactly like this. So, like, see how there's studs on this side? There's going to be no studs on this side. That's how this set's going to work. Same thing, like, with the wings... So it's going to basically be this set, ironically enough. Now, next up, Echo supposedly has 
arm printing on his alive arm. So that means that, like, his normal, like, functioning arm that isn't, like, a robot, that's going to be printed, which is neat. And then apparently he does have uh, pearl gray printing with his hand that's mechanized. So basically it's going to be a hand print, which I, I kind of saw this coming. It's going to be a hand mold, regular hand. Uh, it's not going to have, like, a screwdriver arm. I saw that coming. They did the same type of thing with the Anakin, uh, you know, the burnt up Anakins always. They've done that since 2005. I'm honestly not too shocked there. That is not a huge, huge piece of news. There are good things and bad things that could be taken away from this. Now, first off, we know they're getting the helmets now. So that last piece of news from the last video, which also happened to get 17,000 views, by the way, uh, did happen to be incorrect. I don't know where someone came up with that. That was what MNR Production supposedly said on a stream. So I don't know, you know, what's going on there. The other thing that's interesting is that it doesn't come with Crosshair, it's coming with this other guy. So, that could be good or bad, I don't know if Crosshair, you know, has an armor replacement, or, you know, what, what, I don't know what's going on here, quite frankly, but it should be interesting nonetheless, and I'm really excited to see it. Essentially, it makes up the Bad Batch set. The, we'll wait for pictures, because pretty much now, that's all the information we get on it, other than the official leaks and pictures themselves, where we can base it off our own opinion. But this set, this set was $70. It, I'm not shocked they're basically just redropping it. I mean, for those who really want to know what it's like on the inside, we could just pop up the interior. This is about the interior you got. So if you're looking for some special interior, we're just going to replace this and have, like, something else. You could fit a little bit of stuff in there, just not a, like, crazy amount, or it's not going to be crazy exciting, but I, I'm really curious to see. I'm actually going to do a comparison when that set comes out inevitably now next up obviously we have the cantina leaks now this of course dropped like a seconds after i finished editing my last video so i couldn't have really fit it in uh but yeah so it looks neat it looks like you have almost uh you know you have like a sand crawler you have luke's homestead which looks all nice and dandy uh you also have it looks like java's palace i don't know there's like a whole like sand dune in the background now, I've been calling this set for a year. I've explained my theories on this. I don't really want to explain that far further, all other than I predicted it. I've talked about that in previous stud show episodes. But it is certainly neat nonetheless. It looks all right, you know. I prefer the minifigure promos. I really liked it when they did those. Even if they were worse, like, they, I know they, it was like, the minifigure promos went from, like, fantastic, and they just started going down. It's like you got First Order Officer, you got the, uh, you know, Admiral, you got the Stormtrooper, and then you just started getting the droids, which were okay, I actually have the R2-D2 one, and then, you know, you got down from that, you got BB-8, and then you just started getting these builds. Now, the thing about these builds that are interesting compared to figures are, well, figures are custom printed and everything, this does get custom box art and custom all of that, like, I have one of the, uh, this one, and while obviously I probably would prefer a figure, it's nice to get, like, a full feeling set, like, you really feel like you're getting a $25, $20 set, like, as an extra additional bonus. As a figure, might only feel like a $5 bonus, so I don't know exactly what the logic there is, because I'm pretty sure it would be cheaper to just produce a figure, right? I don't know, but that's just my personal guess. Now, there is some other news. There's also a funny story that actually happened, and I missed this, but I was later, earlier I was looking at the Darth Vader box art, and what happened with this set is... On the top, like, you know, it says Darth Vader on the side. On the top of the set, you can zoom in, and it's kind of hard to tell, but it says Dark Vader. Like, you know, Dark Vader, like what all the little three-year-olds say when they're trying to name Darth Vader. And I found that hysterical. I thought that was very funny. Um, and, and, yeah, that, that, that was just another funny little thing I'd like to point out. Now, finally, the thing I'd like to point about about the Bad Batch set is the big complaints are, supposedly most of the Bad Batch, I assume, isn't going to have arm printing, which is a big thing. Second of all, the big thing is that they're not going to have rangefinders. I don't know how you're exactly going to do certain characters without the rangefinders. It, it, it kind of baffles me. I know Tech is going to have a new mold, which should be interesting to see. Uh, you know, because Lego kind of cheaps off with Star Wars in that area, like with custom molds. Uh, and, you know, especially in the clone department. And I am kind of disappointed that the new 2020 style... Like, if you want to make the 2020 style a perfect armor, give them, like, a little thing to put the antennas in. That's it. And I think, honestly, that could be a solid reason for why they're holding out on a Captain Rex minifigure is because they don't have a helmet mold to do a Captain Rex and they don't want to have to put a cloth on the side or a plastic cloth or whatever. That could be a solid reason to why they don't do that. Yeah, with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed this little bit of news. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Where it looks like we're going to need a speeder or a gonk droid, the helmet. So it, it's a good news. I think this is fantastic news. Uh, you know, some people might not be happy about it, but, you know, it's good. I, I think this is overall great news. 
and we'll see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out, stay awesome, and send in your merch pictures, which are in the description. You'd buy your merch, and then send it in when you get it, and subscribe.